Recently, Islet have unfairly found themselves in some controversies, prompting many netizens to revisit the survival show that started it all, Are You Next? However, after re-watching it and hearing Belift Lab's claims, questions have arisen. Were the final members chosen unfairly, and did other trainees lose their chance to debut because of manipulation? To give you some background information, Are You Next? was a survival show created by Hybe and JTBC, featuring 22 contestants competing in seven rounds. These rounds tested skills like potential, creativity, professionalism, genre adaptability, and star quality. The final six members, Wanhee, Yungso, Iroha, Yuna, Minju, and Mocha, were chosen based on votes and label input. The trainees, minus Yungso, then debuted as Eyelit, the first girl group under B-Lift Lab, and the third girl group launched by Hybe. However, like other survival shows, viewers were skeptical, suspecting shady practices such as edited moments portraying certain trainees negatively, staged reactions, and questionable performances. Recently, B-Lift Lab's controversies have intensified these suspicions, with many revisiting the show and pointing out details that suggest it might have been entirely rigged. If you were to ask the viewers, the show was pretty much a mess from the start. Fans expected Are You Next to follow your usual survival show formula, one member gets picked by the mentor, and the rest are picked by the public votes. However, the show kept tweaking its rules seemingly to boost certain contestants. To explain, a big chunk of the marketing around Are You Next revolved around the show being a global project. In the final episode, it was announced that only two members would be chosen by public votes, with the label selecting the remaining four, leaving everyone furious. A commenter wrote, I don't understand why they did this when basically they could have saved a lot of time, money, and stress for everyone involved if they just put them together like a normal group. Another user noted that in the weeks before the final, the show tested different voting formats to find the best way to shape their preferred lineup. It was also argued that since the show didn't gain much popularity, it made sense to reduce the voting influence. They suggested that if a trainee had massive popularity, the company would certainly have chosen them, but instead, they likely selected someone they believed had growth potential. Overall, it was said that Hybe did this so they could rig the show in a legal way so that they wouldn't get in trouble like Mnet did. Another piece that people presented as evidence of the show being rigged is the photo shoot that the Eyelit members had with Vogue, which was one of their first promotional means. The photo shoot occurred just a day after the lineup was announced, leading netizens to suspect it was arranged before the final episode aired. However, some refuted this claim, suggesting that Belift probably had all the girls do a Vogue photo shoot, but only published photos of those who made the final lineup. Whatever the case is, the most damning piece of evidence that the show had allegedly been staged was the elimination of contestants like Chanel and Jiwoo. As the oldest trainee on the show, Jiwoo had around three to four years of training under her belt when she joined as a contestant. With her impressive skills and experience, many believed she was the perfect candidate for the final lineup. She regularly impressed judges and consistently ranked in the top six during evaluations, making it even more shocking when she wasn't selected for the final team. Chanel was also a fan favorite among international fans throughout the show. Her talent and charm made her a natural favorite, especially with international fans who felt a strong connection to her. So for many viewers, her elimination felt unexpected since they couldn't picture Eyelit without Chanel as part of the group. To give some context, in episode 9, the contestants split into two groups, Scrum and Pride, and Team Scrum emerged victorious in the performance round. However, Chanel, who was a known fan favorite recognized for her talent and pre-debut experience, played 11th and was eliminated along with Ji Hyun. Because she had ranked 6th in global votes, with fans around the world strongly supporting her debut, Chanel's elimination left viewers stunned. Besides the accusations of rigging, many people had various theories about why she was removed from the competition. Some viewers speculated that her removal was linked to a so-called tantrum she threw in the 7th episode. During that episode, she was upset after being taken off the song she wanted to perform and ended up in a team that many felt was less skilled than the others. Additionally, being chosen as the group's leader added to her stress, especially since she didn't seem very confident in that role. Although many netizens empathized with the frustrating situation, Chanel's reaction raised some eyebrows. As the leader, people expected her to handle things maturely and keep the group's spirits up. Instead, her behavior brought down the group's mood, making her members feel uncomfortable and cautious around her. Viewers saw her behavior as rude and inconsiderate, especially toward her teammates. They felt she treated them like a burden, as she quickly distanced herself from them once she learned she would be joining a different team. Additionally, her outburst at Wanhee left people questioning her self-control and maturity. However, the moment that led viewers to think that she might be entitled and not be ready to debut was when she directly expressed on camera that she wanted to be eliminated. To some viewers and critics, it felt like she was throwing a fit, making them convinced that maybe being an idol wasn't the right choice for her. Despite everything, Chanel was practically the face of Are You Next, so her sudden elimination left many viewers puzzled. After all, the idea that Hybe or any company would let go of such a talent seemed odd. 
fraud, which led to different theories. As mentioned, some thought her attitude may have played a part, as it would have possibly posed challenges over time for the company. Others speculated that a shift in the group's concept led to her being cut, as she may not have aligned with the new direction. There was also talk of something less transparent behind the decision, which, as it turned out, wasn't entirely off the mark. Sometime at the end of October, a netizen made a post attaching a video of one of the performances from one of the units, which had Chanel, Himena, Soyeon, Eilat Swanhee, and Mocha as members. In this post, it was pointed out that the production of the show had edited every trainee's voice to sound better, but Chanel's. According to netizens, this showed that Belift Lab had already decided Eilat's lineup before the show ended and was going out of their way to give viewers reasons on why some contestants debuted, and Chanel didn't. A comment said, They aired Chanel's voice cracking without editing because they were never going to give her a spot. But the members who were already chosen? Heavy editing. This is so wrong. Another pointed out that they even showed Joe Kwan frowning to make Chanel's voice crack feel more disastrous than it was. In fact, after this was pointed out, many people went on to claim that this wasn't the only time that Hybe had edited the show to make some contestants look better than others. In the incident where Chanel lashed out, some netizens argued that the company edited her unfairly to make her seem worse than Wan Hee, aiming to stir public dislike towards her. A commenter said that in the video, Wan Hee keeps insisting she can't perform the part live and ends up arguing with Chanel, asking her to take over. However, instead of showing Wan Hee in a negative light for allegedly acting immaturely, the editor made it seem like Chanel had anger issues, adding dramatic effects when she said, fine, I'll do it, making the others appear shocked. Chanel's time on Are You Next is mostly forgotten now that she's debuted with 50-50. However, with the ongoing feud between Min Hee Jin and Hybe, as well as Eilat's strong involvement in it, people have started to examine the group once again very closely. This scrutiny has led to attacks, with critics searching for anything to use against them, even if it's not the member's fault. Well, there were recent leaks about debut plans for Eilat and New Jeans, which caused some to suspect that Belift Lab had copied Eilat's ideas. The accusations gained traction because of striking similarities in their marketing strategies, key phrases, concepts, and even the PowerPoint designs. What really grabbed everyone's attention, though, was Belift Lab's response to the plagiarism accusations. The company strongly denied the claims, stating they had selected the members and finalized Eilat's debut plans by July 21st, 2023. To back this up, they shared a snippet from their debut plan report. Belift also clarified that they received New Jeans' debut plans as a reference only on August 28th, 2023, insisting they had already completed Eilat's plans by then, long before seeing New Jeans' details. Notice anything strange about the statement? This means that if Belift's timeline is true, then it would mean that the Eilat's members were already chosen more than a month before the airing of the last episode of Are You Next, which happened on September 1st, 2023, which made the viewers and netizens furious. Comments from them said, If they were gonna rig it, then they are just fooling with the participants. Isn't this a big problem? And wow, crazy, they even rigged this. Others also called for Hybe and Belif to be investigated, just like other companies suspected of rigging survival shows. Then, Belif released a statement in response to this, clarifying once again that the plans for the final lineup and concept were made by July 21st, 2023. They argued that because Are You Next ended on September 1st, some people mistakenly might believe the plans were finalized before the lineup was confirmed, suggesting the show was fabricated. The company stated that the idle production process involves many documents and steps, and such claims of rigging are unreasonable. They also explained that they chose four of the members because they preferred to stick with the company's concept direction rather than choosing all members via votes. Belift added, If we planned on rigging, we would have just said that all six members were picked through voting. Despite the statement, many still believe something was suspicious about the show, and nothing from Belift or Hybe will seemingly change their minds. 